So um, stereotactic radiotherapy or SABRE is a way of delivering a radical treatment or a curative treatment for patients who aren't fit enough for an operation. And the way it's delivered in England is both SABRE and standard uh, radiotherapy are delivered at the same time, but in different places. And so it's essentially what we wanted to do is compare uh, how people did and how long people lived if they had either SABRE or standard radiotherapy. So it's the benefit of SABRE is that it is delivered in fewer treatments, so a patient might come to the cancer centre three or five times rather than 20 or th even sometimes possibly 30 times. Uh, it's more convenient and potentially has less side effects. Our work suggests that patients uh, are less likely to die of, um, if they have SABRE rather than standard radiotherapy. So one of the things we've looked at is um, the number of patients that received a radical treatment. So um, about three quarters of stage one patients received a radical treatment. So there are a proportion of patients who don't receive uh, any treatment and also a small proportion who receive non-curative treatment as well. So by looking at potentially that group of patients, are they living further from their local radiotherapy centre? Are there other barriers to, to them accessing treatment? Uh, and the other potential uh, barrier is the position of the tumour. So Sabres uh, has less side effects if it's used for peripheral lung tumours rather than tumours near the middle of the chest. What we've shown is that uh, the hazard ratio for death for patients who have Sabre is 0.7 compared to patients who've had standard radiotherapy. And uh, so potentially there is a, a survival benefit by having Sabre rather than uh, normal standard fractionated radiotherapy. We've been um, We've generated our data and collected our data from the National Cancer Registry and the National Lung Cancer Audit. And uh, of, we'd like to thank the patients that contributed their, their data and the analysts um, at Public Health England uh, and at the National Cancer Registry and Analysis Service that have, that have helped support this project.